Hey friends, it's Nia Farby Barndells here. I love working with other artists on collaborations. Um, I call them collaborations, but a lot of times artists will start painting something and then just run out of steam creatively and they offer their partially painted kits to other artists who can maybe have the vision to complete um, the doll. So that's what I have today. I have a couple of kits from Lildo Nursery um, that she um, didn't want to finish and let me tell you about what my plans are for them and um and yeah and we'll take a look at them together they just arrived so here they are pack them very nicely oh. maybe you can help me make some decisions about them as well so we'll just take one out Stick it over here. Oh, I kind of don't want to show the face yet, but all right, it's already here. So here's the first one. This is the Robin sculpt. She did a really nice job on this sculpt. Very good job painting. It's, um, uh, is it weighted? Yeah, it's got some weight in there. And look at what she's done <clears throat> with... Um, these are done with, done, done with Prismacolored pencils. Isn't that beautiful? Very, very beautiful. This Robin is a, um, it's a discontinued sculpt, not a limited edition. So we can't really say sold out. Looks like she's got some eyelashes there too. And I love the little pink nose. Okay. Let's take a look at... Robins. Oh, no. This is this is the other head. <gasps> That's okay. We'll do the heads first. I was kind of hoping to save the heads for last. You know how we do that with reborn dolls. We always save the heads for last. But here's the other one. This is Grant. Now let's look at what she's done. How pretty is that? Look at that. All done. She's done with Prismacolored pencils. And also, um, he's also weighted. And he's got kind of a, like, um, I don't know, it's sort of a, a tan or a ruddy kind of skin tone. Very cute. And then we have some limbs here. So it looks like I'm going to have to figure out whose limbs go with whom. That Painting-wise, that looks like Grant's. These look like they're Grant's limbs. She has done some painting on them. And again, I don't know whose hands are whose. If you guys are better at this stuff than me, maybe you can tell me whose hands they are. I'm just going by how they're painted since these are painted with the sort of darker skin tone. I'm thinking that that goes with this one. And here, let's, let's scoot this stuff over here. We'll move our head right there. And then looks like these are weighted. And there, the nails have been tipped and sealed. So those have been all painted. Um, maybe have a little hand here. Nails are done. Really pretty, really pretty skin tone. One. Yeah, so I was thinking originally of maybe extending some of the painting and design like down their legs or arms. Um, but I don't know. I don't know if I can really like duplicate what she's done already because I think it's really, really cool. Now, I, I know what I'm going to do with these two, but what I don't know is who is going to get what. So maybe you guys can help me decide. 
So one of them I wanted to turn into a uh, fall fairy. So I wanted to add some clay ears, um, some clay ear extensions. Um, and then the other one I want to make into one of my seasonal dolls. So this year I've done four seasonal creatures. They're not fairies, they're, they're creatures. Um, some uh, the, I started with winter, and on the winter solstice, I made a doll named Solstice. Um, then I made a spring creature with green. Uh, so Solstice has white hair and white eyes, tan skin tone, kind of looks like he's been frosted. Um, and then um, Blossom was my spring creature. She's green skin with rooted white and pink hair and daisies painted on her. Um, and then I just recently finished Sky. Sky looks like a summer sky, blue skin tone with clouds, um, blue eyes. Um, that's uh, my summer creature, creature. And then I wanted to make a fall creature as well. So I'm kind of thinking along the lines of this is going to be fall now that I see them just because I like the um the slightly darker skin tone kind of like I would consider it like a biracial kind of a skin tone um and also for, for some strange reason I don't know why this is it seems like whenever whenever I look at an open eyed doll I always think of a fantasy creature and then I'm thinking of this little one being the fairy of adding ears and making this one into a fairy, a little fall fairy. So what do you guys think? Which one should be the seasonal elemental, more human, and which one should be the fairy? Um, also, uh, working hard on my um, sheep in wolf's clothing. As you can see over here, we've got our last leg that I'm work, work, working on rooting. But let's bring you over. Ooh, I'm going to cover you up, my messy, messy nursery, to show you. Um, here's my little sheep in wolf's clothing. And the rooting is completely done. You can see the rooting goes all the way around the face. Just the face part is not rooted. The arms, since they're human, are not rooted. I'm just a little bit on the shoulders. And then um, the main part of the body is rooted. The belly is not. And then we've got one rooted leg right here. We're about halfway down the leg. Um, so I've named this little one Puck for now, um, but they will come with either... Um, either with boy accessories or girl accessories, depending on what you choose. Right now I've got a little, you can see little little ribbons in her hair and a little pink blanket, but that doesn't mean they have to come as a girl. And this is their wolf's clothing, which I really need to go over because it is shedding everywhere. You can see that, I just put that down for a second. Look at all the shed. So I really need to, um, I don't know if you can see this, or there's the wolf's head. I really need to go over and um, go through all the cut edges and kind of seal those so that it doesn't uh, doesn't shed anymore. But that's that's the wolf, and it's got the wolf body and wolf paws and the wolf tail. So I hope you've enjoyed this little look into my nursery today and projects that I'm working on. And please, I love getting people's impact and feedback on um, on different projects in my nursery, especially the, um, the fantasy ones. TTFN, ta-ta for now.